Hello Crestchurch the Valley. This is Brent. Hope that you're doing well. And just wanted, just first of all, just to say, hope you're having a good week. Hope things are well for you. Just know that as an elder team, we are meeting on a consistent basis. We are praying for you. We're praying for those because we miss getting to see everyone because we know right now not everybody can gather in person. And we just want you to know that you are being covered in prayer not just from our elder team. I know when the men's Bible study and the women's Bible study meet, that that's how we begin, is we pray for our church and we pray for you. So if you've not been able to gather in person for some time, just know that you are being prayed for. One of the questions that we've been wrestling with is what do we do next as a church? We've been meeting outside since around the 1st of June. We've met outside about nine times right now, and things are going really, really well. Attendance has been good, but being outside in the back parking lot has allowed us to maintain that social distance and feel like that anything that we do in the world today, whether it's going to a grocery store, whether it's going to get our oil changed, there is a little bit of a risk. So we feel like out back in the back parking lot that that minimizes as much risk as possible. But we understand that not everyone can come, that some still need to be safe and stay at home. But we believe that it's also a good option, that it's the safest option that we have going forward right now as a church. But you may say, well, it's getting towards the end of summer. Where do we go from here? And that's a very valid question. And it's one as an elder team that we've been wrestling with. And our plan going forward right now is to continue to remain flexible. And we want to continue to be able to adapt to the circumstances that are before us, realizing that this virus, this pandemic, things can change so quickly. But our immediate plan for the immediate future is that we will continue meeting out back in our parking lot to October-ish. And what that means is as it begins to get cold and we see that we can't no longer meet outside, we will make a change. We're not exactly sure what that change is at this moment because we, again, want to be flexible to be able to adapt to our circumstances. So no, right now, the plan is for us to continue to meet outside. If there's a thunderstorm, if there's bad weather, we will go 100% online. It is just like a winter day uh, if that were to happen. We'll try to meet outside, but if it's not possible, we will go 100% online for that Sunday. And we are continuing to work, and we appreciate your patience and your prayers to try to improve our online experience. We've invested some time, some resources, and we are getting better at it, but it is like whack-a-mole, is what I would say. If you've ever played the game, and maybe you haven't played the game, but there's these little moles that pop up all over the place, that has been streaming online for us. We are getting better at it but it is like whack-a-mole that we've had to conquer one problem and then another problem presents itself. But we feel like we're getting really, really close to offering a consistent online experience that you can trust, that you know every Sunday morning that you can log in. A few facts that we wanted to let you know about just so that you understand because we know the online experience is new. It's new to all of us, so we are learning together. But our link on Facebook Live will remain the same. That never changes. That's going to be included in a letter. Kind of the content of what I'm talking about will be included. And you can click on that link every Sunday. What I recommend that you do, if you know how to create a bookmark in your browser, bookmark it so you'll never lose it. And you can go there every Sunday. You can honestly go anytime, go to that link, and you can view our messages online. Also, some people are, are a little weird when it comes to Facebook and they may not have a Facebook account. They may not like Facebook. Facebook gives us the most opportunity to broadcast the gospel message out to as many people in our community as possible. So that falls right in line with our vision of sharing the gospel with every man, woman, and child. So we've kind of went to Facebook for that specific purpose. And you may say, I don't have a Facebook account. I don't use Facebook. It doesn't really matter. You don't need an account to log in to do any of that stuff. You just go to that address and you can view our live stream and you can also go back anytime during the week and watch our messages. So if you miss it on a Sunday morning, you can go back and view that at any time. Also, right now, as a church, we don't feel comfortable meeting in the building for Bible studies. We miss that. We will miss that fellowship time together. We're going to continue to use Zoom because it makes us mobile. 
people in Colorado, people in Florida, people all over the place can join us and study God's Word. And it takes some adapting. We understand that. And if you need help connecting to Zoom, connecting to the live stream through Facebook, just let us know. I know the ladies going forward, they're gathering at the Village Green just for fellowship where they can social distance, where they can stay apart, that they're going to study the Bible at 10 a.m. on Zoom. And then around 12 o'clock, weather permitting, they're going to agree to meet over at the Village Green and just have some fellowship. So just know we are trying to be flexible and just to adapt to the circumstances that we've got. And know this, we care about you and we want to pray for you. We want to support you. We want to help you any way possible. So if there is a need that you have, please do not hesitate to reach out to Jacob, myself, or one of the elders. We are here for you. Included in that email, you will find our cell phone numbers, our email addresses. Reach out. Know that we're here for you. Know that we miss you. Those of you that are not able to attend, we miss you. We're praying for you, and we are just a phone call away. If there is something that we can do, just please let us know. That's our update for this week. If you have any questions, concerns, please hes don't hesitate to reach out. We would love to chat, and just we're continuing to adapt to our circumstances. Thank you for watching this, and pray and hope that you have a blessed weekend.